10 Things You Didn't Know About Overwater Bungalows Have you ever dreamed of waking up in an overwater bungalow that's perched upon crystal clear water? Destinations like Bora Bora, Tahiti, and the Maldives all have resorts that offer these bungalows. Don't get me wrong, they're a one-of-a-kind experience, but they're not for everyone. Today, I'll go over 10 things you didn't know about overwater bungalows. Number one, they're not as private as you may think. In most cases, when you go on a tropical vacation, you go to get away from it all. But something that most people don't realize is that they're located right next to each other. This makes for incredible photos, but if you think about it, not ideal for privacy. Most resorts have dividers between each bungalow, but it doesn't stop you from hearing your neighbors. If you're expecting a vacation with more privacy, then your best option is to go with a beach villa. Beach villas are usually tucked away on an island, surrounded by palm trees, giving you more privacy. Number two, most are adults only. The majority of overwater bungalow resorts do not allow younger children. You could have probably guessed this since they're surrounded by water. Without any safety nets, you can literally walk a few steps and be in the ocean. However, there are quite a few overwater bungalow resorts that are family friendly. As long as your child is around 12 years old or above, then you shouldn't have a problem. Most are gonna be catering towards couples and honeymooners since they only allow two people in each bungalow, but there are always exceptions. Number three, the glass floor panels aren't like the photos. One of the main attractions of overwater bungalows are the glass floor panels. Go on almost any resort website and you'll see incredible photos of these panels. Wake up, roll over, and stare at the calm turquoise lagoon or so you thought. Most likely, they're not going to look like the photos during your stay. The lagoon probably isn't going to be as calm, and they're also very hard to keep clean. They're usually glazed by the salt water. It's a cool feature, but don't expect much. Number four, you might get bored easily. The average night's stay in an overwater bungalow is about 10 nights. While that's a great amount of time to vacation, it could become boring quickly. If you want a vacation where you're relaxing, drinking cocktails, and snorkeling all day, then these are perfect for you. But if you're someone who's more adventurous, then overwater bungalows might not be for you. Especially if it rains during your vacation, you're pretty much stuck inside your bungalow. Number five, the Maldives has the most overwater bungalows in the world. French Polynesia was the first to introduce overwater bungalows to the world, and for a while you could only experience them there. However, the Maldives eventually took the crown. They took overwater bungalows to another level. I mean, just look at this one located at Saniva Yanni. This type of accommodation does so well in the Maldives because most islands are surrounded by calm lagoons, making it a safe place to build these structures. Number six. Thanks to three Americans, Tahiti is the birthplace of overwater bungalows. The first overwater bungalows were built on an island in Tahiti called Rayatea. It all started when three native Californians saved up to move to Tahiti, planning to buy land and farm vanilla. Once they realized their land wasn't suitable for farming, they ended up purchasing a small four-room hotel. They named the resort Bali High, and once the first airport opened in 1960, Tahiti's tourism boomed, which allowed them to expand. Their next resort was on the same island, but didn't have a beach. With a little creative thinking, they decided to build huts on stilts, allowing the guests to snorkel directly from their room. And this was the birth of the first overwater bungalow. All thanks to their second resort not having a beach. Number seven, Sandals was the first to create overwater bungalows in the Caribbean. For many years, if you wanted to experience overwater bungalows, you'd travel to the Maldives or French Polynesia. This was because the Caribbean isn't an ideal place to build these bungalows. The Maldives are mostly surrounded by outer reefs, 
which break up the open ocean, creating a calm lagoon near the island. The Caribbean doesn't have this. Instead, most resorts are located directly on open sea. Not only that, but the Caribbean is known for getting hurricanes, making these bungalows an expensive risk to take. However, Sandals saw this as a massive opportunity because U.S. travelers wouldn't have to go all over the world just to experience this type of accommodation. So, they successfully built their first overwater bungalow at the Royal Caribbean Resort in Montego Bay, Jamaica. The Caribbean now has several other resorts that offer overwater bungalows. Number eight, they're safer than they look. We often get this question, are overwater bungalows actually safe? A quick glance and most people think that their stilts don't look sturdy. And to be honest, the concept of having a room built above water on a few stilts doesn't sound safe. The construction of these bungalows are similar to building a traditional dock. They drill the stilts into the ocean floor, usually with cement bases to make for a strong hold. Without getting into too much detail, we've linked an article in the description that explains more of the process. Bottom line, overwater bungalows are well thought out and very safe. Number nine, the average price per night for an overwater bungalow in 1968 was around 30 to $40. Um, does anyone have a time machine? Because I think that's what we're all thinking. This price was for the first overwater bungalows in Tahiti. Considering most bungalows now start at a few grand per night, what a steal this would be. And if you calculate the inflation rate, it's equivalent to about $200 to $300 per night in today's world. But good news because number 10, you can find more affordable options in Belize, Honduras, and Panama. The Maldives and French Polynesia are the holy grail of overwater bungalows, but they're not cheap. However, there are quite a few options in Belize, Honduras, and Panama that are more affordable. Our favorite overwater bungalow resorts in these locations are Thatch Key, Punta Caracol, Azul Paradise, and Coco View Resorts. We suggest you research those options if you want something more affordable. And there you have it, 10 things you didn't know about overwater bungalows. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you have any other things to add about overwater bungalows, comment them below. Safe travels and see you in the next video.